Okay, so this is the new GUI. As you can see, it looks most of the stuff around the outside. You have a whole bunch of different buttons down here at the bottom and on the sides. And anywhere you touch here on the disp on the field display, you just click on it, up pops these other buttons, and these hang around for about five seconds. Yes, there was debate on how long this should be, but that's about how long. So you can touch anywhere on the surface here, and these guys will show up. So just like before, start a new field or open a field. And so then you have all your functions. There's still all the in here, there's that still all looks the same. You can delete applied. Are you sure? Yes. And now your AB line stuff, turn your AB on, turn auto steer on, and all that works. So these buttons are the same. This is automatic. Manual. That sort of thing. In automatic now, if it's in automatic mode and it's not applying, then it's orange instead of red. See if we turn red. So now it kind of gives you all four possibilities. On, off, auto, and auto, but off anyway. So again, a lot of this is all the same. You have your different curves. That sort of thing. Now, the Batman panel, that's still the same. If you click on the on the overhead, it shows you all the GPS information. And if you click it again here, where it's kind of blank, click again, it's back. So that all works pretty good. Here's your what your field remains, that sort of thing. Simulator. Uh, and all these buttons down here, that's all the same. If you want... Um, this is for the settings for the vehicle, it's all here. Or if you want to do U-turn, it's there. Also, you can do U-turn from there. And that sort of thing. Like if you have a small display, there's 1024 by 768, then you don't have those buttons. But you still kind of do because they're all here now. You can see that's over top of that. But uh, this is a pretty small display. B-Lines uh, tram, that is, uh, you can set your your skips and your start position, so that is all the same. That this used to be on the AB line form, but now it's here. And this is your, your skips on the U-turn. You can page through your different lines here, that sort of thing. You got your zoom and... This is kind of not needed. The camera now goes from 2D to 3D and back and forth. This is the re, uh, recorded path stuff. Um, this is auto manual that's used in the, uh, the self-driving stuff. Want to just turn it off. Your end trip settings, your IMU settings, tractor settings, ports, U-turn. Up here is the flags that go off to Google Earth. Um, down here, this guy, if you lose your GPS signal, this will turn red. If it's green, that means you have a GPS signal. If you click it once, that brings up your GPS data. Simple, simple. This guy here tells you what your steering angles are, your scent, and your actual. Click on this, and up comes your auto steer configuration. Now, you can snap, big snap, little snap, that sort of thing. Snap right on the line. That's all there all the time. Your boundaries, up come your boundaries, field, that sort of thing. So all in all, it works uh, It works pretty slick. So I'm sure there's other stuff that I've missed, but uh, yeah, there you go.